Hey, welcome to part four in this video tutorial series on how to create a shooter style video game using Adobe Flash CS4. We're working with ActionScript 2.0, that's very important. And that's what we've got so far. So we've got some flying octopi, we've got a ship that flies around and shoots missiles and kills them. And then when the octopi hit us, it kills us, but we have no score and no record of lives. So let's change that right now. We're gonna go ahead and in your toolbar, select the text tool, it's the big T in your toolbar, and find a place on your stage that you would like to have the word score written. So we're gonna have a word score and then we're going to have the actual score that changes. And I'm just changing over here in the properties. The size, I'm picking a different size for my text. And looks like a pretty good size. And you can go ahead and type out score. And you can make it a different color if you want, or you can make it larger uh, or smaller, depending on your taste there. We want to make sure that we take the blue box that shows up and we make it a little bit smaller and make sure that we've got it set on static text. It's very important. In just a minute, we're gonna do some dynamic text. But for the time being, we want this to be static. We don't want it to change, okay? So now you're gonna grab your, your text tool again, and we're gonna draw out a little box next to our score. This time in our properties, change it from static text to dynamic text. <clears throat> and you're gonna probably keep it the same size, same color, but you know, you can change it if you want. So make sure dynamic text is selected. And then underneath dynamic text, underneath options, you'll see a variable. And what you'll need to type right there is score, I'm sorry, uh, underscore root period and then score. So underscore root period and then score is what you'll need to put as the variable. And that will link our dynamic text with the score. Line that up. There we go. Let's take a look at what that looks like. And you see our score is up there at the top. It is keeping score. It's giving us 10 points for every octopi that we kill. But it's way too up too far up at the top. So let's grab both of those. And then let's grab the text. There we go and just nudge that down just a little bit so it's a little bit more inside of our stage and there we go it's a good place for it we can see our score clearly there it's a nice score okay the next thing we want to do is we want to add our lives so i'm going to put it right next to the score and again we want static text let's go ahead and type out lives move it into place and then we're going to create another text box that's going to be dynamic text, but remember just the, the word lives needs to be static. So now we're going to create a dynamic text box, create a new box, select dynamic. This time we want to put underscore root, R-O-O-T, period, and then lives, L-I-V-E-S. Check it out, see if it works. It's way up there in the corner. I never moved it down. So let's move that down so we can see what's going on. So again, we'll just nudge that down into place. And take a look at it. And there you can see we start with three lives. And our score works just fine. And let's see if our lives disappear. There they go. Two, one, and then zero. Okay. Now we need to give some indication that the game is over. So we're going to create a game over animation. Well, animation is maybe a misnomer because we're not going to really animate it, but you can. So we're going to go into the library, right click, create a new symbol. It needs to be movie clip and it needs to be named Game Over, capital G, and capital O with no space in between. You're also going to want to export that for action script, which is an option you can click in that last box. And then go ahead and here simply I'm going to just type game over. But if you wanted to have a pretty elaborate animation in here, you could. You've got your timeline at the top and you can do that if you like. I'm going to change the font a little bit. And 
Again, this needs to be static text. It doesn't really matter because you're not going to be exporting it, but uh, we're going to keep it as static text. Where's a good font here? Just pick something that's easy to see. That looks good. We'll make the color red. And we'll go ahead and type game over. You can pay attention to your registration mark there. That, that's the X in the middle. That will uh, allow you to position the game over. And we'll go ahead and make that text a little bit bigger by selecting it. And again, changing the size and the properties. We'll go ahead and make our blue box around it kind of snug. Move it into place around the registration mark. Go back to our scene and export our movie. And we'll go ahead and die and see what our game over looks like. Looks pretty good, but it's a little too high. So we can use our registration marks to kind of position it in a better place. So we'll go back to that movie clip and we'll just nudge it down. And take a look. See if we're better off here. And it looks pretty good. So now we've got our score, our lives, and the game over. In the next section we're going to add sounds and then finally we'll add a title screen.